Hello and welcome back to Rybrook TV. It's been a while, hasn't it? Firstly, I hope you're all very safe and well in these really strange times. Now, straight to the point. Before lockdown, I took delivery of this BMW M135i and I intended to do a collection video with it, but obviously that couldn't happen. But I'm now three months into the ownership of this car and I know that I've done quite a few videos with the M135i in the past, but there's still so much skepticism around this car online. So I thought today, it's a beautiful day, let's get out and let's get my opinions on this car after three months of ownership and around 1500 miles. But before I go and give you my opinions, let me just run you through what I've got. So in terms of options, firstly, the paintwork. This is Mizano blue, which is actually the launch color for the 135. And I, pro I think it's possibly the best color for it. Now being the M135i, as you, I'm sure you know, you get the sort of brushed aluminum accent on it and the honeycomb grill on the front. And there is a little bit on this car that you actually can't really see on pictures, which I love. So this is something you can't see on pictures. This gloss black splitter along the front, gloss black uh, side skirts as well. You just don't see those on pictures, and especially with the Mizano blue, it really highlights those. Now, come, come around the side, let me show you these. I've got the M Sport Plus package on this car, which gives the big 19 inch alloy wheels, which I think, and I'm probably sure you think it as well, really sets the car off beautifully. Obviously the 135 is now only available with five doors, which to be fair, has been very, very useful. Come around the back, come around the back. Let's have a look at this. I think it's possibly the best angle for this car. Don't you think? I think especially with the gloss black diffuser down here against this color, especially, don't mind me saying, I think it looks great. The exhaust pipes are massive as well. And this one, the left one, in the UK at least, has a big valve in it. And the difference between the sound when the valve shut and open is massive. We've got the little accents here for the X-Drive and the M135i in the brushed aluminium again. And I just think proportionally, I think it's great. It really, really is. But that is the externals. That's my specification on the outside. Let's go and have a look inside, shall we? It's inside the 135, I think, that is probably the nicest. The difference between this car and the previous one series is night and day. Now, as standard with the 135, you get possibly the very best seats I've ever sat in from BMW. These things are beautiful, and I've got the standard Alcantara. You get the large operating system 7 controller in the center. You also get the live cockpit professional. And I've got the technology pack too, which gives you heads-up display. First time heads-up display has ever been offered in a one series. And I've also got the Harman and Kardon sound system, which I don't think I could live without. Now, that is a general overview of my specification. So should we, should we just go for a drive? Actually, before we do that, I did promise we'll get some revs. So, it's been three months, as I've mentioned, since I got this car, and due to ob obvious circumstances, it's barely been driven. But I have done 1,500 miles in this now, so I think I'm probably in a good position to give my feedback. Now, as I'm sure longer viewers of the channel will know, I had an M140i Shadow Edition this time last year, and there's actually some footage rolling now of that car. So how does this compare to that car? Because that's the big comparison that everybody in the BMW world has been making. But I will start off by saying, I don't think it's fair to compare the two, not directly at least, because realistically this car doesn't replace it. It can't. Firstly, that engine that was in the M140 was a masterpiece. Possibly 
one of the very best engines that BMW's ever made, that's more powerful. It was always punching above its weight. We always compared the M140 with the likes of Audi RS3s, which it wasn't intended to be, was it? And this, this is directly aimed at your Audi S3s, your, your Golf Rs. So really, we should compare them to those cars rather than the M140. But I know it's gonna be what everybody's asking. How does this compare to the 140? Well, my initial impressions of this car then in the last three months, it's definitely a more usable everyday car. As an everyday car, this thing is sublime. A lot of the time, you don't really know that it's a high performance car. You don't really know that it's got over 300 horsepower and four wheel drive. But when you do want to have some fun, you can. And it holds the road in a way the old M140i just couldn't do. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because you could have endless amounts of fun in the M140. But this car and the four wheel drive system on it, I know it's a different X drive system than we're used to with BMW because it's front wheel drive bias rather than rear. But it's superb. It really is superb. And the LSD that they've put on the front axle of this car truly is a masterpiece. You wouldn't know that the majority of the time this is a front wheel drive car. You just wouldn't know. And then we're just getting to some quite like nice twisty roads now. So I'm gonna bang the car into sport mode and put the gearbox across. And well, it doesn't half cover ground. I would say that this car actually, across roads like this, I think I'm gonna say it, I reckon this would beat an M140, maybe even an M2. That's, that's big, that's a big statement right there. But I reckon it would, you know, I really do. And what about the noise? You've already heard some revs from the outside of the car, but what does it sound like in here? Well, it pumps a synthetic version of the exhaust note through the speakers. Now make of that what you will, but I don't think it sounds too bad. It's a bit weird when you first start accelerating. You think, oh, this is, this is a bit strange. This is a lot more ambient noise than you'd expect. But you've got to remember the Golf R and the Audi S3 do exactly the same thing of that. Because when you dial everything back into comfort mode and everything, it is genuinely very comfortable. As you've seen from the external shots, and as I've mentioned earlier, I've got the 19 inch alloys on this, which are the biggest alloys you can get for this car. And you would expect that that would start to compromise the ride, but it doesn't. The suspension that they've got on this car and the chassis balance mean that the car is so easy to place on the road and it's so comfortable. And these seats, these seats honestly are magnificent. If I could have these seats in any BMW, I, if it was an option, any car, I don't care, five series, three series, yeah, I'll have these seats please. They are wonderful. What else can I tell you about this car then in my first three months of ownership? In all honesty, there's probably not a lot I can tell you because I haven't really driven it that much. But that big thing about these cars breaking in after 1500 miles, I will confirm that that is true. This car now feels like a completely different animal to that that it was around 500 miles ago. There's something about it, there's something about the way that the engine is bedded in and the gearbox seems to have just linked. They seem to have just got that telepathy now. And they just work so beautifully in tandem with each other. This car has completely transformed now that it's past 1500 miles, which is mad to say really, isn't it? You wouldn't expect it. But yes, so far, the first three months, it's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I've got three more months with it, and then I've got to hand it back. And who knows what's gonna be coming after that. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please use the link in the top of the screen to cast your vote again as to which car you prefer, this M135i or my Sunset Orange M140i from last year. Have your vote. I'm genuinely intrigued to see which one you prefer. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video if you'd like to see some more, and I will be posting a final drive of it with this car in another three months' time. Until then, 
stay safe, and I will see you next time.